I've had the opportunity recently to uh, be engaged in a Bible study in downtown Birmingham uh, with a group of guys who are, some of them are re-entering society from prison, some are just off the streets. They've been living on the streets for years and they're trying to re-enter uh, our society. My son approached me in January who uh, was an abuser of alcohol and drugs for 14 years himself. About two years ago, the Lord got a hold of him in a miraculous way, turned his life around. And he's now working with some of these guys downtown with Andrew Jenkins, who we know and support here at Shades Mountain. Uh, he asked me if I knew any businessmen that might be interested in coming down and sharing their testimony, maybe starting a Bible study, and just spending some time with these guys. And after a few minutes, uh, more than a few minutes probably of conversation, I said, well, I was a businessman, I am a businessman, and I'd love that opportunity. Having this Bible study and having Rob be the one that put it together after all those years of not knowing where he was, what he was doing, and to see him living for the Lord and touching the lives of these other men uh, has just been a real blessing to me. These fellows come from varied backgrounds. Uh, some were professional people. They had jobs as uh, uh, master electricians. Some owned companies. One of them owned a contracting company. A couple other guys uh, are felons, convicted felons, who spent some time in prison, uh, are at a point where they now can uh, be released on early release into a controlled environment. Yeah, what we're doing right now is meeting on Friday nights because that's their most difficult night of the week. Uh, they work all week in a, in a somewhat controlled environment. They get a paycheck, and Friday nights uh, can be an issue for them. This is strictly a Bible study, man on man, and an opportunity to just to share and to disciple some guys. Most all these guys are already Christians. Some of them are not. Uh, but uh, it just shows you that uh, just because we're Christians, doesn't mean that sometimes we don't have issues in our lives and we need a little help along the way. These guys, when I went the first night, I could literally see an invisible barrier between them and me. And I, their thought processes, I am sure, were, here's this guy from Vestavia who's not like us. And he's down here and he'll be here for one week and we'll probably never see him again. And so we'll listen to him and we'll see what happens. But when I showed up the next week, had coffee with them, sat and visited, asked them about their, who they are, where they came from, why are they where they are, where do they want to go. You could just start to see those barriers drop just a little bit. When I got there the third week, there was interaction from those same guys. Hey, let me tell you what we did this week. Hey, we talked about, we're talking about what you talked about last week, how we put that into practice this week. And now after about five weeks, uh, we can openly talk about a lot of things and get down to uh, serious issues that are going on in their life. Uh, last week, one of them that doesn't talk much after the Bible study walked up, just quietly slipped a piece of paper in my Bible. And he told me on paper what he wanted, couldn't say out loud, but he trusted me. And so I could pray for him this week and prepare something for him this week. Those are the kind of things that I'm finding and I have found out already uh, probably the study is as much or more rewarding for me as it is for them. They have difficulty in some areas like accepting the fact that God can forgive them for what they have done in the past and it makes it difficult for them to move forward. So we decided uh, to begin with just to take some of those topics and uh, talk about God's love and His mercy and His grace and His everlasting forgiveness and just to work on those areas a little bit in these guys' lives and uh, share with them that it's the same for them as it is for me and all of us. It would mean so much to these men if some of you businessmen would just like to come sit in. You don't have to do anything other than just come say, hey, I'm so-and-so and, -so, and uh, I'm a friend of Lynn's and uh, just thought I'd like to come down and, and visit with you guys, get to know you a little bit. Pastor Danny, a couple of weeks ago, uh, gave a message on service, and there was a line in there that stuck with me about taking up the towel, or taking the towel. Taking the opportunity to serve when the opportunity presents itself, and it's my privilege to have Bible study with these guys. It's not enough 
just to know what we know. Uh, I think it's important that we do what we know. I'm Lynn Malcolm and I'm touching my world locally and globally.